what I'm really looking for when I'm shopping at Home Goods for myself. I love shopping at Home Goods when the carts are out. Like this is where they hide all the best goodies. I have never seen a lamp like this ever. Look at this lampshade. I want to do a quick haul, show you what I picked up. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. Today we are at Home Goods. Today I'm going to show you what I really look for and what I really buy and shop for when I'm at Home Goods on days when I'm not filming, which might seem a little bit weird since obviously you're watching me film this video but I feel like when I'm shopping at home goods for my videos I'm trying to show the items that I feel like a lot of you guys would be excited about and those aren't necessarily always the items that I'm pulling towards or what I'm actually buying so I'm at home goods it just opened so it's pretty empty there's lots of full tanks around lots of new goodies and a lot of things that are really pulling my attention and a few items that I'm actually on the hunt for I've talked about this before that I really struggle to actually shop for myself when I'm filming my videos because I'm so focused I'm so in the zone but today I kind of want to do like a more casual video where I actually show you what I'm really looking for when I'm shopping at home goods for myself so that's what we have today hope you guys are excited it's a little bit different than what I normally do but there's so many goodies and I'm excited to jump in they are starting to put out a lot of like the outdoor summer type items which I'm really excited to see I will be doing a little bit of a front and back patio refresh so I'm excited to see like a lot of this new serveware I'm excited to look at some outdoor pillows and blankets they also have a lot of little outdoor furniture sets these are perfect if you have like really small areas but you're wanting some like alfresco dining options these little dining sets are super nice this one is 200 you get the two chairs and the black table i think this is a great price for this like black aluminum set it does have a little bit of padding on the seat just to make it a little bit more comfortable but sets like this last forever okay i just got so excited because these fruit stools go so viral every single year and I was like oh my gosh yay found the strawberry I feel like this is like the OG the one that really started it all and they have two of them and I was like oh there's another one until I noticed just next to it there's a lime stool oh my gosh and they have three of them at the home goods that I'm at these go so fast I can't even believe it. I've never seen the lime before. I'm not even kidding. And I know these are not going to be everyone's style, but these fruit stools are, these are $70 each. I'm super excited to see if we'll find like any more fruits. Are those not the cutest thing? I know, like I said, they're not going to be everyone's style, but I think they are adorable for $70. It's so fun. And it's just a little accent table. I feel like that's a really good way to like experiment with something a little bit more fun like that. This giant terrazzo ball. They always look so much heavier than they are. Like I expect them to be like a million pounds and they're not, they're like hollow on the inside. These always make me laugh because like I could have my very own target ball at my own house, which is <laughs> so fun. But I feel like these are not very like Florida proof because I feel like if it was windy enough, it would literally roll away. I am potentially looking to put some string lights out on our back patio or even on the front. I just think it would add a bit of a pop. They have some nice solar powered options here. They have a lot of different shapes as well from so many different like really affordable price points so i'm looking at these potentially i just think that they would be fun also something like this is cute like a little tabletop fire pit i think that's really fun not for me because i have a baby but just if you're looking to add some character or just something fun to an outdoor space that you don't use very often that could be good and the fire helps to keep away the bugs i am also looking at the planters because i need to repot a lot of my plants from last year so i need bigger planters and they have a lot of really good options i really like this one like this kind of wavy top and then i like the rib detailing at the bottom this is a really good size as well it doesn't have drainage so we would have to drill a hole which it's not hard but it's not ideal i wish it just had one already there's a few more that i'm seeing there's a couple different aisles so i might pick up a planter here are a few more options Ooh, i like this one I like this one a lot actually. I like that it has the little saucer on the bottom and you can see the little drainage hole right there. How much is this? This is $14.99. This is a really, really good medium sized planter. And I do also think it'd be a really cute utensil holder. I know that probably sounds crazy, but just picture it with like some utensils coming out of it. This textured bowl is nice. It is technically a planter. It has the drainage on the bottom, but it has really, really good texture. It's like, feels kind of rough. How much is this? It's from the Made in Vietnam collection. This would be really pretty um, 
as like an entryway bowl there's just lots of different things you can do with each of these they also have a ton of these like terracotta boxes these are all made in italy like planter boxes these are really good if you want to do like small herb gardens and i like this kind of like old world feel that they have to these they're really fun they also have some more like finished options that are glazed or these more unglazed unfinished options that range anywhere from $24.99 for the small ones and $39.99 for the larger over in the kitchen section because there's a few things that i am looking for specifically but how pretty is this like scalloped bowl this is $16.99 it's such a good size it's from like the handcrafted in india collection this is so pretty they have three of them i love that it's on a pedestal and then they also have this one that's like larger that'd be a really great fruit bowl i can't believe this is in the kitchen section this is so nice there's so much i could do with this just gonna go ahead and put that in my cart this one's really cool too it's wood and then it has the gold base again from the made in india collection this is really nice if you kind of just like to do like metallic pops but you like those more like earthy textures that's really nice they also have oh i like this oh i liked it till i saw the rooster at the top just a paper towel holder kind of on the hunt maybe for a new paper towel holder so that's why i wanted to kind of like peruse this collection but i have this instead i'm needing some new like kitchen essentials and these gold strainers are really catching my eye definitely don't need new strainers but those are nice something that i'm liking that i see are these locking tongs right now we use ones that have christmas trees at the top so it's definitely time to get some new ones and these definitely match a lot of the other stuff that we already have so i'm probably gonna get those but i need to find a few other utensil sets maybe that have gold i found one here before but i need more of that same set these are nice as well they're like wooden on the end but they're like that taupey color and then they also have these matching tongs i wish that these were gold like the ones we were just looking at oh they have the gold with the taupe okay i think i just need to like dig because i feel like i'll find the larger ones so i'm pretty sure it was from this brand but i had got a set that is like cream on the end and then they're gold and they're so nice like i really just want another pair of the exact same set i do also need like new wooden spoons i just need like some new kitchen utensils ours are so old and like all cracking this cook's corner brand you can also find other colors like the green with the light wood that's nice i also really like the gold with the navy that's so pretty so you just have to kind of like dig i found quite a few goodies my kitchen is getting a little upgrade but i really like this brand i'm looking specifically at this cook's corner brand okay i was just walking by minding my own business and this lamp caught my attention because it's like hand-blown glass that's like molded into the shape of a lampshade and you can see where it like was folded over that is so cool handmade glass this is 89.99 it is marble on the bottom okay i'm obsessed with this this is from nicole miller home this is so cool i have never seen a lamp like this ever i think that is so unique all right this caught my attention as i was walking by because my sink is an absolute disaster as i feel like probably most people's are but it's so bad and this is nice because you can do like your blow dryer straightener curling iron all in here and then you can do like your makeup and it also has a little drawer and i was like this is really nice but it's 60 dollars so i really like the idea of it but i don't want to pay 60 dollars, especially i don't know i feel like with it being white it's just gonna get like messed up and it is wood so it's like kind of a more like porous material if you have something like this let me know but i really really love the idea of it do these work let me know like is my sink going to be more organized if i invest in something like this but this is really cool and i really like the idea of it and i really am wanting to do a little bit of like a bathroom refresh when we do the primary bedroom makeover yes the primary bedroom makeover is finally happening most likely in april or may it's a really big project it's not 
very like budget friendly to do because we need some new furniture pieces that are rather large the room is huge so we need like accent chairs i need a new mirror we need new artwork i need a new media console for under the tv potentially new nightstand so it's going to be very expensive so that's why we've kind of like put it off and put money into savings we did the office first and we've just been kind of like recouping our savings from that but it is time for the primary bedroom and i'm so excited there's a mirror right here that i really like it's it's really large and I feel like the price is pretty good. So I wanna show it to you. I used one of the little like paper tape measures and I think it is about 70 inches tall by like 45 inches wide. I hate that it doesn't have the measurements right on the front so I can't actually know the exact measurements and I don't have my little purse tape measure but it has a really nice like gold metal frame and I really do like the shape at the top as well. So I'm a big fan of this. I want a new really, really big floor mirror so i think this could be a good option here are more bistro sets these are nice they have this white bistro set this is more of like a finished resin i really like the round chairs and they do have kind of a cushion to sit on as well this one is also 200 for the set then if you're looking for something that's more of like a lounge set this one is definitely a bigger price jump this is 5.99 but it is that really nice teak wood. I really like the rosy kind of mauve color. I feel like you don't typically see that. I feel like you tend to see more like blues. Oh, that explains the price jump. This is a really nice brand. This is Lily and August. You get the two chairs that have like that rope detailing and the table. These are really unique. I feel like I would never be able to get out of this chair if I sat in it. It's super low to the ground. Three piece chat set, $5.99 from House and Garden. That's what that looks like. Definitely super boho. I feel like I could never get out of that chair. <laughs> I could just see myself being stuck in it forever. I love this bench. Oh my goodness. It's solid pine wood that's stained black. This would be so nice for the end of our bed. And you guys know I love to do black pops, so I'm sure I'm going to do them somewhere. So I really like this. This would be perfect. $99 for this is such a good price. Okay, I'm really loving that. Another thing I see that I like is this dresser. I don't like it for our house, but I think it's really cool to see more dressers here. This was originally $9.99. It's on clearance for $7.99. It has the nice like cane detailing and I do like the gold hardware. The drawers don't slide super smoothly. This is from B&D Furniture, made in Italy. This is nice. Definitely a very like coastal, like modern farmhouse look, but it's really cool to see more dressers here. I really like this piece of art. It's a good size. It says like limited edition, hand painted. And if you look, it is really textured on the inside and I like that it's like a very light teal color or not teal sorry sage there's like sages grays creams taupes and then i love this like really really light wood frame this is gorgeous this is from katherine price this is so nice this is 99 really good size i wonder if there's one that kind of like matches it i'm feeling like there might be some good art like hidden in here i can't stop thinking about the paper mache shadow boxes that i showed on my last home goods video i kind of regret like not buying them i didn't follow my own buy now decide later rules but there's a lot of really cool shadow box art like look at this it is nine frames inside of this shadow box that's really cool and then here's another one it's like a painted linen that is textured i don't know if you guys will be able to see that because of the glare but it is textured like on the inside this is 129 Ooh, these are so nice these are sisters not twins you can kind of see what each one exactly looks like these ones are exact twins but i've never seen anything like this totally different vibe but i also love this for the end of the bed the only thing is that this is darker than our upholstered headboard like our whole bed is upholstered so i feel like it might clash but i really love the waviness of the wood this looks extremely expensive this is from rachel zoe for 149 i just really love the look of this they have some great benches right now as i mentioned i need accent chairs for the primary bedroom and i really love these they are very very nice and i like the sleek look on the sides these are 349 each which is not cheap but it's not terrible they feel pretty comfortable as well that's the thing like i want the chairs to look nice but i also really want them to actually be comfortable i do like that there's a set i like the kind of neutral tone of the wood i feel like 
it would go well no matter what um, nightstands we decide to go with, like keep the ones we have or get new ones. Same thing with like a media console. So I'm a big fan of these. I don't see a brand on them anywhere though, but look at them from the side. Aren't those so cool? I also really like the way they look from the back. They're like wrapped with the wood. And then the legs on the bottom. Yeah, these are definitely a great pair. I'm seeing these pop up a lot. I actually picked up two of these on my last trip to Home Goods. They're $12.99 each. There's hooded towels for kids. I feel like they sell hooded towels for babies. And then I didn't really know where to go from there. So we had been using a normal towel for Bryn. But now we're using these. It's really nice to have the hood back just because I feel like I want to keep the heat in once she gets out of the bath. I don't want her to get cold. So these are really nice. I got two of these neutral ones. They didn't have the pink with the gray last time I was at. At home goods but if you are looking for like a full-size towel that has a hood for your kids they have these at home goods right now they're really good they're super soft and really thick i feel like you never see coat racks anymore and i've seen two just on this home goods trip gold coat rack this is 40 dollars. i saw one that had like little mushrooms and then this one has flowers it's just a gold coat rack and then it has a marble base i feel like this is something you don't see very often anymore so these definitely caught my attention also look at this absolutely massive faux plant next to this this thing is probably nine feet tall i'm hoping it will say on the tag this is 250 dollars. how big is this it's massive like you can maybe tell from like how big the planter is let me back up so maybe you can see like the poles like if you know how big the poles are in your home goods this thing is like nine or ten feet tall i feel like you don't ever see things like that at home goods brinny blanket these like green floral daisy blankets just will always make me think of Bryn. it's $24.99 I really really like that and then I also like this one I feel like this would look really good on my blanket ladder because it's kind of similar to my rug but it's not checkered so it's not like very matchy matchy so I like that it's from celery that is 50 by 60 this one's from Nicole Miller I'm seeing a lot of really great ones like this chunky knit it kind of feels like Casa Luna they also have the lighter muslin throws coming in. Those are perfect for the summer. This one is $19.99. They have two of them. The one from Celery that I was just showing you. Actually, they have three of them. So many throws. They also have tons of pillows right now. I am maxed out on pillows. So the only pillows I need are maybe like outdoor pillows. So we'll have to see if they have some of those. But they have really good color organization going on oh here's another bistro set this one's cute this one's also 200 oh this is like a good mix of some of the ones we were just looking at so it's like more boho but it's still in that 200 dollars price range which i feel like is really good it has a little table with the rattan chairs that match i feel like it's showing up really red on camera because of these pillows okay i feel like that looks better although like looking into my camera I feel like it's turning more red by the second because it's just picking up on those pink pillows but it has these really nice sage cushions it's just um it like is metal painted to look like wood and then it has that actual woven detailing same thing with the table the legs are metal but then the top is that woven detailing I really like this one if you're looking for a really easy like small outdoor bistro set this one looks comfortable and it's really cute and it's under two hundred dollars okay does anyone else relate to this I just did it and i hate when companies or stores or people do this when they're like it's under 20 dollars or under 50 dollars and it's like 49.99 because when you add tax it's not under that price i know that i just did that so i want to apologize because i hate when people do that like no it's not when you add tax and shipping if you have to buy it online do you know what i mean <laughs> this nightstand is so nice it is $200. It feels again like that solid pine wood. It has the gold detailing on the legs and the um, handle is gold, the pull. I like that it has some hidden storage and then you could do like a basket under there or like some coffee table books. This is really nice. This is also a good size. This would be a good nightstand for a king size bed. You have to do larger nightstands or else I just feel like it shrinks the space and like shrinks the bed. But this is super nice. You can see the wood grain. Hopefully you can see that on camera. This nightstand is gorgeous. All right, now let's see what is hiding in the decor aisles. I feel like I saved my favorite part for last so let's see what we can find in here it's looking a little sparse if i'm honest i just noticed this what if you're looking for an end of the bed bench and you're obsessed with wiener dogs that's that's really something 
That is $149. Okay, that's taking the wiener dog obsession too far. Okay, I like right here there are a ton of books and a lot of them are still in the plastic. So a lot of these I already have. What's this? What is this? Must grab. Must see. Must find out together. So it comes in this bag. Patterns. Come on, come on. Ooh, 100 fashion di designers, 10 curators. So it's like all about fashion designers. This is so cool. A survey of 100 of the most exciting contemporary fashion designers. That's fun. This is a really cool book. If you have someone that's like into fashion design, this would be a really great gift. This is $30. I love that it comes in the bag because that really grabbed my attention. Right next to this, they have these like faux leather books. So they look like books. They're even like leather bindings, but they open on the inside and they have two different sizes. Those are really cool. I love stuff like this that has like multi-purpose. They even have like a bigger version and they have this nice like suede on the inside. This is $14.99. It's vegan leather. And here's what, whoa, here is what the two sizes would look like stacked on top of each other. If I had seen these, I definitely would have grabbed them for the office. They are like a chocolate brown color in person and I really like the gold pages. These are really really nice i had not seen these or else you would have definitely seen these in my office makeover maybe i'll pick these up for the master bedroom i'm not sure but i really like them some of the other books they have right here are the new southern style vibrant interiors curate patina homes is one i've considered picking up multiple times and then just a bunch of these leather books they have a ton right here and a ton right there i love coffee table books i really like this vase it is heavy heavy and solid i want to turn it around so that we can see the tag it's 30 dollars from the made in vietnam collection it's just this like really nice big vase perfect for an entryway table or like a big um media console or sideboard in a dining room that you're looking to decorate you could definitely do stems out of the top it is open so that is really fun i really like that these are also fun if you have someone that like is obsessed with um like the big brands this would be a really great gift little guides to style there's a valentino book balenciaga hermes and chanel this is 34.99 see another book that caught my attention made for living okay home goods we need to talk why 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 do you put the sticker right on the front why i don't get it here are some other pretty ones this is celebrating home i love how like green it is this one's nice as well the kinfolk home that looks really nice and it's like a cream color on the inside this has a cover over it the designer within live beautiful at home on the water so that has like a blue binding i'm always looking for more coffee table books <gasps> Oh no, this is broken. Look at this really, really beautiful box. It's like a travertine stone, but it's chipped on the corner. That is super nice if it wasn't chipped. I see something buried on this cart that I really like. These like linen wrapped trays are super nice. They're so buried, but those look really, really nice. And I don't see them anywhere else. I also really like this like sculptural marble like almost rainbow shape there's a couple nice vases i love shopping at home goods when the carts are out like this is where they hide all the best goodies all right i am actually picking up a few items so we're gonna head to the checkout i feel like they hide a lot of good stuff in the checkout so if i find anything i'll let you know and then i'll do a haul when we get back to the car this is a nice vase it's kind of like a plaster vase it is $12.99. It is, no, it's actually ceramic. This is from the Made in Mexico collection. It's a really good size, and I really like the shape of it. The texture is really good. Big fan of that. Tons of smaller planters hidden in here, so if you're wanting to start out a new plant or just do, um, like, maybe just basil or plant a little strawberry thing from, like, the Target dollar spot, this size planter is perfect, and those are $7.99. All right, just got back in the car, and I want to do a quick haul, show you what I picked up. First thing, we needed new drying mats. Um, let this serve as your reminder to check your drying mats because they could be moldy. Don't ask, don't ask, but they could be moldy. I mean, it makes sense, they're like always wet and then you're like putting them back in the drawer or maybe that's just us. But anyways, change out your drying mats because your old ones 
could be moldy. And then I did grab some kitchen utensils. So first up I grabbed tongs. I actually grabbed, it's like a short and a longer pair. We use tongs for a lot of stuff or maybe we just eat a lot of bacon. I don't know, but we're always like needing tongs. So I grabbed some new tongs. Um, this is a set of whisks. I thought they were really pretty. I like that they're gold on the bottom and they're from that brand I really like um cook's corner so i grabbed those and then i also grabbed a set of cook's corner wooden spoons i just want to like toss out all of the old stuff it's like one to two years old hobby lobby also has really good utensils so i might check out hobby lobby as well just to get like a couple more spatulas but i am hoping to find another set of the cook's corner cookware that has the um golden handle and then the like cream top because they're really really nice utensils so far I also grabbed two really random things. The first one, which we've needed this forever, is a new dog harness for our dog Padme. Hers, like the clip is broken on it, and I really like the ones that have like lots of clips and not just Velcro because she is like a master escape artist. I'm just like piling everything right here. Um, so I picked this up. It looks really, really nice. Um, it's just like a nice kind of like neoprene material, and I like that it has the velcro as well as the buckles and the color is really pretty so it's time for her to have an upgrade she's had the same harness since i got her which was like five plus years ago so time for an upgrade for miss padme and this one looked really nice so i decided to pick it up the last thing i grabbed the checkout aisle got me with the chips they always have the most interesting flavored chips and I was between two one was like uh this brand called like uglies so I think they're like the imperfect chips I don't know um and they were like a buffalo ranch flavor but then I saw this deep river flavor and deep river chips are really good like old sub shops always have deep river chips these are fire roasted garlic and onion we have to try them I just I love a good onion flavored chip this could be so dangerous and kettle cooked chips mm, my mouth is literally watering mm-hmm mm-hmm oh my god yes these are giving exactly what i wanted them to oh no if you've ever had the wise i think that it's like the flavors like sweet onion these are kind of like that which i can't get here in florida i think they might be like a northern thing the wise brand oh no these are bomb I can't stop. They're so good. Why did I buy these? They're not going to make you have good breath. But if you're okay with that. Well, all right, everybody, that is it from me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this like more casual home goods shopping trip. I know it probably sounds crazy, but I don't actually get to go and shop at the stores for myself. Like, barely ever obviously i'm at the stores a lot always seeing what's new for my videos but i don't know why like i said i just struggle so much to like actually shop and work at the same time so it's really fun days like today where you know i was going in there to film this video but my priority was actually like looking for things that i've been needing and i came to a home goods that's less busy so that i could actually shop and like have a nice peaceful experience because my local home goods is crazy busy so hope you guys enjoyed this more casual shopping trip if you did let me know down below if you like seeing what i bought at the end of my shopping trip let me know i know that i've seen comments for people like well what did you actually buy so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up please triple check that you are subscribed down below i hit 83,000 subscribers but i'm really trying to hit 100,000 this year so 17,000 away less than 17,000 away which i'm so excited about thank you guys all so much for being here thank you for shopping with me today and every day i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye guys